What's going on guys, Jurassic here. Today we are checking out ED Copilot. This is a free virtual assistance program for Elite Dangerous on PC. Now the cool thing about this program is it's actually designed to be more immersive when it comes to VR gameplay styles. Basically they wanted to make it so you don't have to constantly take off your headset to look around to see important information. However, you're also able to use this application for non-VR purposes. So if you go to a system and you're really big into exploration, for example, It'll tell you what the system's worth, if it actually has biological life forms, and it'll just speed up your gameplay when it comes to exploring around and seeing which systems are actually worth exploring or not. So if we scroll down here, it has like a brief explanation of it. They can have it so you can download a application on your... <clears throat> so if you're wanting to be a little bit more immersive, they do have an option so you can extend it onto your desktop using a free space desk or similar UI and become a touch enabled interface. That's actually really cool that they recommend having a free software like that. Now the main features here, I'm just going to do a general breakdown of it just to sort of show why you should download this program before we actually get into like the properly downloading it. So this will allow you to manage and organize on a external set of bookmarks and set courses to locations at the click of a button or using a voice command instead of having to fiddle around inside the giant galaxy map. Location lookouts, find places to buy or sell commodities, ships, modules, and find material traders and just stellar factories, etc. The course using voice commands or via a button. Instead of having to, you know, look it up on Google, it'll be everything all bundled up into one nice neat package. Over 30 panels of information relevant to your current session or prior history, including bodies or stations in a system, inventory of ships, modules, suits, weapons, and materials, engineering blueprints requirements versus materials at hand, and they also have an announcement. Uses high quality Microsoft Edge text and speech voices as defaults for a natural sounding voice. Also supports voices from Amazon Poly, Google Cloud Text to Speech, Microsoft Azure, Text to Speech, or Eleven Labs. Now it should be relatively low resource requirements on your PC. Now this is going to be obviously with PC users only. It does work with voice attack, and I believe it will also work with Emily. I'm going to be testing it out with Emily to make sure everything works perfectly fine, but it should. A second monitor or tablet is recommended for non-VR users, basically, just to have the application on a different screen that we were able to do it. Now, this is a short glimpse at, like, the panels. So, they got the voice log, event log, system history, session progress, mission list, discovery, estimator, and mining stats. So, basically, if you're big into mining or exploration, this application is just going to streamline a lot of the application for you. Now, installation, we are going to have to download a little bit of things. Startup message containing a commander name and version of client to check for the updates. So basically, once we download the application, we are going to need to link it to our Elite Dangerous. That way, it recognizes our commander name and everything should be working completely fine. This should work for both Steam and Epic users. All right, so to start off, you're going to need to scroll down to where you see the basic installation steps. We're going to download the MSI installer file from either of these locations. First site is listed as better. No pop-ups, except for that pop-up. <laughs> All right, so let's go to download this. Obviously, it's going to pop up the whole Windows projection to your PC. You just click more information and click run anyway. All right, so now that we're inside of the setup wizard, let's click on next. So you can have for everybody or only for you. I recommend taking it off of your main drive and putting it wherever your game is. All right, so before you download the application, be sure to click on create a new folder and name it to whatever you want. All right, so now we can go to launch ED Copilot. Starting the ED Copilot main process, please stand by. The ED Copilot process is starting. ED, your virtual copilot, is loading. Please review and accept the end user license agreement in the pop up window I will display now, or select quit to close the application. Alright, so you have a EULA agreement. Basically, either accept it or click quit if you disagree. Excellent. Let's get started then. Commander, this looks like your first time firing me up. While I set up some data stores, allow me to introduce myself. I am your virtual co-pilot, currently using the voice persona of Sonia. My function is to provide you with assistance and some commentary as you go about your day-to-day -day activities. Commander, I have updates available. I will download them now. Warning, there are issues with your keybind settings. See voice log for more details. All downloads were successful. The virtual copilot service will now restart to apply updates. See you soon. A 
That's pretty cool the way that works. Greetings, Edie is here. Commencing startup sequences now. I will be ready to assist you shortly, Commander. Warning, there are issues with your keybind settings. See voice log for more details. Commander, there are new bookmark entries to be imported. Please wait while I process these entries. I have new bookmarks for you, which I am adding to a new bookmark group named Thargoid Spire Sites. Please wait while I process the new bookmarks. I will display my progress on the voice log panel. All new bookmark entries processed with no errors, Commander. We have some setup tasks outstanding. Check the warning messages in the voice log. Hotkeys have been reset to new defaults. Use Alt plus H at any time to print a list of active assignments to the voice log. We have received an invitation from Felicity Farseer. Startup sequence is complete. Awaiting your orders, Commander. All right, so once you get all that done, if you look inside here, we have time trials, which is basically going to be SRV races. We have guidance computer, which is basically going to give us a little bit more of a defined area. So they have bearings, distance, altitude, current coordinates, target coordinates, and direction. So this is going to be more for the application they were talking about. You can download. We have search location, points of interest, bookmarks. The really cool thing, though, is they actually have trade routes and everything else that you're able to go inside of. And it actually has a list of our exact ships that we have. So if you come over to the top left corner and click on this little square button here, this is where you have a bunch of hot buttons. So if you have it off to the side of the computer, this is where you can like open up your cargo scoop, landing gear, just by clicking on buttons instead of having to like fiddle around with the different in-game items. That's actually really cool. Like for example, throttle 75%, throttle 25%, the rest of these aren't actually bound yet. So if you were to download this on your phone or tablet, this is the quickest way to swap between everything. You also have some combat presets. I don't know how useful this would be in the middle of combat, though. They have SRV controls. That'd be another cool one. So we've got the handbrake, headlights, drive assist. So a lot of this stuff isn't actually bound yet until we go inside the settings and change everything. And of course, we have on foot controls like grenades, EMP grenade, shield grenade, battery, health pack, and shields, all that fun stuff. And also, you know, the ability to change your cameras around. We have no trade route set, Commander. From this panel, you can adjust the search parameters. Then plot a route by clicking the plot route button or by using voice command trade route x hops. That's really cool. Plotting a trade route now, Commander. Trade route plotted, boss. Commander, if you reopen the commodities list at our current station, I will access its commodity prices and check for the best available commodities. Okay, so the trade routes, it tells you like everything inside the area if you click on the mission list. It's, so for example, last time we played, we gathered three different missions and it's going to show you when it expires, the rewards for them. If we head over to the trade route tab, it's going to take a little bit, but it will tell you exactly where to actually buy a commodity and sell it at a different location. So for example, this one has a demand of 12, 32 tons of consumer technology. We have Bexalite, desktop process 3000. 730 credits per ton, which basically equivalents to 74,000 total. They have a system history, which basically is going to say that we're docked at Ohm City, we refueled, repaired, sold exploration data, so it's going to show you the exact amount that you made from selling. And when we get off the game, so we have the event log. This is basically just going to be a small breakdown of what we just read, and we have the voice logs, which is basically going to be heard telling you the different items around the world. Now we are going to be using this widget on stream tonight to get a further detailed explanation of it. So if you guys want to, please check out the stream at Jurassic Acid Gaming or Acid Jurassic on Twitch. But I will see you guys then. Hopefully this application helps you guys in a more immersive environment, Commanders. And I will see you guys in the next one.